I'm gonna show you how to assemble IKEA Songs and Bed Frame storage boxes. I'm gonna show you how to assemble two of them, as the other two are exactly the same. You're gonna have four in total here, so two on each side, one big, one small on each side. You can choose that when you're ordering, if you wanna without the storage boxes or with storage boxes and how many storage boxes you want. If you like to see how to assemble IKEA Songs and Bed Frame, check the next video on this channel. Let's go and do the storage boxes now. So those two big boxes at the bottom, that's the storage boxes. In each box you have two storage boxes, one big, one small. On the side there, that's the bed frame. So we're gonna leave that for uh, for the next video. So we're gonna focus on the storage boxes, the ones at the bottom. Useful tools, electric screwdriver with a drill, that's the bigger one, and the small electric screwdriver, gonna make your life much easier with this assembly, and you're gonna need a hammer as well. If you'd like to see what kind of tools I'm using, check out the links in the descriptions. The manual you're not gonna need from IKEA, if you're gonna follow this video, I'm just gonna show you quickly how much stuff you're getting. So in one box, you're getting two storage boxes, as I mentioned, one big and one small. Here is all the fittings you're gonna get with uh, each box. So you have all the wheels, wooden plugs, uh, locks, everything here for the fittings. I like to organize them so I know exactly what I'm working with. Here you're gonna have a front and back panel. For the small one, the back panel is the smaller one. And exactly the same for the bigger one. The back panel is the smaller one. So this is the back panels. You're gonna need those screws. And this is the front panels. This is the bigger panel. They have the same length, but they are a bit bigger, the front panels. So let's do the front panels first. Two screws on each side, and it's the outer holes on the smaller panel. You can put that on the side, that's the front panel, it's on the small, this is front panel on the bigger one, so two screws on the side, three on the middle, so it's gonna be two outer holes and one under the gap, and exactly the same on the side, just two screws, it's the outer holes. With those screws, go exactly till the stopper, so you're not gonna, uh, you're not gonna have problem later on when you're connecting the boxes. And here exactly the same for a smaller back panel, two screws on each side. Big panel, two screws on each side and three screws on the middle. As I mentioned, go exactly just till the stopper, don't go deeper or don't go higher, otherwise you're gonna have a problem with the connecting the box together. Here this is the dividing panels. So you're gonna have four dividing panels with the gap at the bottom and one without. I'm gonna explain in a moment why. So the one without basically gonna be the one on the middle for the bigger drawer. Here we can put the plastic locks. So each of the plastic lock have a small arrow at the front. So that arrow should face the front hole on each of the holes. So make sure you do this right and then you're not gonna have problem later on when you're connecting the box together, the storage box together. So exactly the same for the each hole. The arrow on the plastic lock facing the front hole. So it's two on each side. And we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. Two plastic locks for each of these dividing panel. And the arrow on the plastic lock facing the front hole. Okay, we can put these on the side now and place two wooden plugs on each of the side panel. Just place them in, that's the middle holes, don't mix up the holes, don't put it where you put the plastic locks, so it's the two inner holes. Exactly the same on the other side, wooden plugs and we place them in a two inner holes in a each of the dividing panel on a each side. Secure them with the hammer. And now we can start work on the boxes. So this is the bigger panels with the gaps. You see, they're gonna line up nicely on the sides. So just place the first one in, make sure the gaps are lining up with the bottom panel. 
panel at the bottom is the back panel. It's not the front panel, it's the back panel. This is the middle one, this is the shorter one. That's why it's gonna end before the gap. So you can put the back panel in, that's why it's a bit shorter. Secure the locks, twisting it to the right side. On the other side, exactly the same as on uh, the left side, you just place it in and line up the gaps on the side and at the bottom, on the bottom panel. Here, small drawer, this is the bottom panel we're gonna connect first. So we have two side panels, here there is no smaller middle panel, so just two side panels. The gaps are lining up nicely on the side and bottom panel and secure the locks twisting to the right side. Tools I have there, the combination of the drill and the screwdriver is excellent here as I have the adjustable torque on it so if I just press it it's not gonna go harder on the plastic lock so it's not gonna break the plastic locks. As I mentioned you can check all the tools I'm using in the descriptions under the video. Here we have the dividing panels. This is gonna be kind of support on the middle. Support on the middle for the drawers is a good thing because uh, the drawers are big and the bottom panel on it gonna be kind of wobbly so this is gonna allow you to load the drawers a bit heavier than usual so there's two wooden plugs on each side of these dividing panels. They have those four holes at the bottom, two on each side for the wheels and this panel is slightly bigger, have a holes on the middle, this is gonna be the middle panel at the bottom, so the support panel for the bigger drawer. Two wooden plugs on each side. So we can build now the support for the smaller and the bigger drawer. Two plastic locks, one on each side and arrow facing the holes at the front as always. And now we can build the support for the... Actually first we're gonna put the wheels in. So just put the panels where is the pre-drilled holes. On the bigger panels on the middle and on the smaller panel is two on each side. You can place the wheels in and we're gonna secure them with the screws. Don't worry about the holes, those are pre-drilled already. So you don't need to drill any holes. Just place them in right on the top of the holes and this is the middle holes for the bigger panel. The wheel gonna go on the middle. This is the screws you're gonna need for that. And this small electric screwdriver is excellent here as it can come to the smaller places, tighter gaps. So it's fantastic here. As I mentioned, you can check them out, all the tools. They have a links in the description. So secure all the screws. There is gonna be two screws for the each wheel on each side and uh, the middle one for the bigger panel as well. As I mentioned, this is a good thing uh, to have um, as a support for the drawer, so you can load the drawers a bit heavier. Just a bit wobbly when you're gonna assemble, they're gonna show you in a moment how to put them together, but uh, uh, at the end it's a, it's a good thing, they, they support these big drawers. Okay, now you're gonna have those three smaller panels. Two of them are the same length, one is smaller, so let's do the two bigger ones, that's gonna be for the bigger drawer, and they have uh, two wooden plugs on each side. Just place them in and secure it with a hammer. Now the smaller one, that's gonna be for the smaller drawer, and exactly the same, two wooden plugs on each side. Place it in and secure it. And now we can build kind of H-shape for the support. So you have three on one side, that's gonna be for the bigger drawer, and those two are for the smaller drawer. So those are the same size. Mirror the holes on the middle. So you can place the smaller support on the middle, you see this is the shorter one. As this is for the smaller drawer. Place it in and we're gonna build kind of H-shape support for the drawer. So just place it in. They're just holding with the wooden plugs, so there is no screws in here. Here now we have the bottom side of the drawer, the back, sorry, but the back side of the drawer connected with the side panel and we can place the H-shape support at the bottom right under the gap where the back panel is gonna go. Just find the holes, it's a bit wobbly, it may open a few times if you're gonna go too hard, so just press it tightly, both sides at the same time. Now we have the bottom panel, place it in, there is those gaps which we line up nicely, make sure you in the right side in, one is bigger one so it's not gonna go in. Just slide it in between the gaps, 
and if you position the side panels with the bottom panel correctly you're not gonna have problem to slide it in at the bottom sometimes it's stuck a little bit so just move it in or out and make sure the bottom panel is slide in all the way so now we're placing the top panel which is a bit wider than the bottom panel and the key is key here is to find all the holes at the same time so the, for the support and on the both sides so once you're in, you can tap it in slowly. Just make sure you first in with the all holes. See, I have the support in. Now I have this panel in the other side. The support is a little bit out, so just adjust it slowly. It's a bit tricky to get it in because there's a lot of holes at the same time, but once you're in, it's going to come nicely in. You don't need to put it too much pressure on it. Make sure the bottom panel is in the gaps as well. You see here, I have to push it slightly down. So once you're in, it's going to be nice and easy to just slide the front panel in. Now we have everything in. We can just twist the locks, the plastic locks to the right side with this electric screwdriver combination with the drill with an adjustable torque. I don't need to be worried to overrun the plastics as if you push too hard on those plastics, they, they easily break as they're not metal as sometimes IKEA do. Unfortunately, we have plastic ones here, so we're working what we have. Here, this is support for the bigger panel, the holes on the middle, and we mirror the inner holes uh, on the sides as well. So first we build the H shape with one smaller and one bigger panel with the wheel on the middle. Just place the wooden plugs in and we have the H shape here. And now we can place it, the H shape, the smaller and bigger panel on the middle in the holes after the gaps. Place them in. Once you're in, you can press it down nicely slowly on the both sides and we can secure the plastic lock on the middle now we're gonna build kind of T shape on the other side just join them together and place it first at the bottom once when you're in in the both holes you can adjust the holes on the middle and place it all in so go easy here so this can collapse still a little bit as you're gonna see at the end Okay, now we can put the back panel. It's a bit trickier because it's quite big, but it's just thin material, which is uh, kind of wobbly. And if you don't have this support, it, uh, the whole thing would just bend over time. So the support is, uh, is a good thing that IKEA did that. Even if you have a little bit more work with it now, but it's gonna, gonna reward you over time. So just slide it in nicely between the gaps. Make sure you between the gaps. If it goes hard, you're probably not between the gaps all the way. Make sure the bottom go in as well. So you see the panel is quite big. So just adjust it from inside or outside, depend where you're not in the gap. See it's popping in nicely on each side. And tap it all the way down. So you all the way in. Here is going to stick out slightly, that's for the top panel or the front panel of the drawer. And that's how it's supposed to be. Now we can put the front panel. So now we connect the bottom panel with the side panel and the middle panel. And this is the front panel. It's slightly bigger than the back panel. Just place it in, find the right holes. Here is going to be even trickier than the smaller drawer because we have three set of holes on the sides and on the middle and then the support as well under the gap. So it's going to be slightly trickier. Just place it in and here you make sure the bottom panel is in the gap. I find it slightly harder so I have to push it a few times from in and out but once you're in it's gonna go nicely in without the force. Here we secure the plastic locks on each side and on the middle just by twisting it to the right side. Once you feel enough resistance if you don't have electric screwdriver just stop. Don't push it too much over as you're gonna overrun them and uh, you possibly break them. So this is how you assemble IKEA Songe Sand bed frame storage drawers. I'm just going to show you those two as the other two we have is exactly the same. And they're on the wheel, they're quite comfy on the carpet as well. So that's uh, that's a good thing. You can slide it easy, easily in and out. As I mentioned, you can have four of them or you can choose two or you can go just without. If you like to see how the IKEA Songa Sun bed frame is assembled, check the next video on this channel. Just show you quickly how you slide them in, how is it look at the end. So here you have two storage boxes on each side. When you're measuring the 
bed or, or the space you have make sure you can slide them out otherwise they're gonna be useless if the bed is too much on the side so maybe you want to choose just two or if you have enough space as in this case you can have nice four storage drawer boxes under the bed which is very useful to store the extra stuff you have okay i hope you enjoyed the video guys if yes thumbs up subscribe to the channel as always you will made my day and see you in my next one very very soon thank you for watching have a fantastic day